Hello, Lily here. Today we are starting with class 3, lesson 1 and 2 of your Climb the Cornerstone Grammar and Composition Skills from your textbook. And the name of the chapter is Alphabetical Order. Read out these names in the order in which they appear. Alice, Batman, Cinderella, Daffy, Elizabeth, Flubber, Goofy, Harry, Indiana, Jerry. The first letter of each of these words follows the order of the English alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and so on. So this is called the alphabetical order. The order in which the letters of the alphabet appear is called the alphabetical order. Now practice. Label these animals, arrange and number them in alphabetical order. Label means write the name of them. This is zebra, lion, deer, peacock. Kangaroo, cow, octopus, fish, giraffe. Now you should just arrange them in the alphabetical order. So the sequence will be number one is cow, number two is deer, three is fish. Four is giraffe, five is kangaroo, six is lion, seven is octopus, eight is peacock, and the last one is also zebra. So the numbers will be nine, six, two, Eight, five, one, seven, three, four. In the next question, arrange these words in alphabetical order. Write the correct numbers in the boxes. So here also we have nine words. Sicily, train, abacus. Gangtok, goblin, andis. Gandhi, tarantula, sesibi. So number one is abacus, number two is anis. When you have two words that start with the same alphabet, you should look at the second letter and again check that in alphabetical order which will come previous and then write the number in front of that. So number one abacus, number two is anis. Number three is Gandhi, number four is Gangtok. So in these two words, you can see that both start with G, then A, then N. So this is common. Again, next letter we will check. Here is D and here is G. And it is absolute that D comes previously. So this will be number 3 and this is number 4. And then number 5 is Goblin. Number 6 is Sicily. Number 7 is Trantula. And number 8 is train. Again, these two words start with T. So we will just check the letter, second letter. Here is A. So this comes previous. So this is number 7. This is 8. And the last one is also the number 9. Can you read the secret message? The writer has replaced every letter with the one following it. A is written as B and B as C and so on. Means you should write the before letter. Before Z we have Y, before F E, before T S. We will say S T U V X Y Z. So like this it will be yes 
I read the secret message. Now let's go to the second lesson. It is about the sentence. Rewind. Tick those groups of words that make complete sense. Number one. Shehnaz got up at eight. Alright, this is making a complete sense. Late for school, Shehnaz. No. Missed bus. No. Shehnaz went to school by bus. Yes. She ate chocolate cake. Yes. Played afternoon. No. Night at. No. Evening on. No. She slept at nine. Yes. Kept waiting. No. So here. Number 1, 4, 5 and 9 are sentences because they have a complete meaning. Just remember this, that a sentence always begins with a capital letter. Now you can see in number 1, starting with capital letter, number 4 is also like that, 5 and number 9. So it should always start with a capital letter. And a sentence is a group of words that is arranged so as to make complete sense. Now remember that sometimes a sentence may contain only one word and still make complete sense. For example, no, yes, okay. Now in the next page, match the column to get as many meaningful sentences as you can. So I have done only just one. You can do more. Number one. My father gave him a new camera. Every summer, I visit my grandparents. A few years ago, we went to Kashmir. We have a house near the railway station. She comes home before sunset. This part, rewrite these jumbled words as complete sentences. Remember to use capital letters and full stops. So this I have done in my notebook. Number one is Jyoti and Jia went to the fair. Number two is Pao is jumping in joy. Number three, there is an exhibition in our school. Number four, I am Manju. I saw Manju in the garden. Number five, they sailed down the river. And the last one is she threw the wrapper into the waste paper basket. The next question, add words to the given words and make sentences. For this picture, we had words kids and rain and we should make a sentence. So we can make kids are playing in the rain. Number two, family picnic Sunday. My family went to picnic on Sunday. Number three, they carom. They are playing carom. And number four, aunt balloons. My aunt is buying balloons. Now just learn. Father and Deepika are buying vegetables. Read what Deepika asks father. Father, what is this? This is spinach. So Deepika here, she's asking that father, what is this? And father is telling this is spinach. So, the first sentence is a question. Father, what is this? The second sentence is a statement. This is spinach. Both begin with capital letters. Sentences which ask something are called questions. A question ends with a question mark. 
Sentences which say or state something are called statements. A statement ends with a full stop. Now, put question marks after the questions and full stop after the statement. Number 1. I am in class 3. Full stop. Are you going home early today? Question mark. My mother makes very tasty puddings. Full stop. Is your brother older than you? Question mark. I have to go to a shop to buy toothpaste. It's a statement, so we will just put a full stop. When does the show begin? Question mark. Which pair of shoes do you want? Question mark. My sister has curly hair. Full stop. Now learn. Read these sentences. Sumit is happy. It is a statement. And if you want to convert to the question, you will say, Is Sumit happy? In the first sentence, we are saying something. So, this is a statement. In the second sentence, we are asking something. So, it is a question. Do you see how the position of the verb changes depending on whether it is a statement or a question? In the question, the verb is is played before summit. Let us look at some more examples. Manisha is playing with her dog. The question will become, is Manisha playing with her dog? The doer in the sentence is also called the subject means the Manisha is the subject. We are talking loudly. The question will become, are they talking loudly? Notice that the statements have verbs that are made up of two words. When we convert such statements into questions, the doer, Manisha and they, comes in between the two words that make the verb. Now practice time. Change these statements into questions. What has been done for you? Ursha and Asha are going to school. The question will be, are Ursha, Usha and Asha going to school? Number two, Vineet is flying a kite. It will become, is Vineet flying a kite? And question mark. The old farmer is happy. Is the old farmer happy? That man is looking for Vivek. Is that man looking for Vivek? They are going to Manali next week. Are they going to Manali next week? The cat is sleeping in the basket. Is the cat sleeping in the basket? Madhu and Manju are eating strawberries. Are Madhu and Manju eating strawberries? Mohan's mother is ironing the curtains. Is Mohan's mother ironing the curtains? The workmen are painting the house. Are the workmen painting the house? Mrs. Kapoor is teaching English. Is Mrs. Kapoor teaching English? The students are playing football. Are the students playing football? The children are making a snowman. Are the children making a snowman? So now learn. Read these sentences. She was reading a book. Was she reading a book? They were walking in the park. Were they walking in the park? These sentences tell us that these actions happen sometime before now. Notice how the statement has been converted into questions. She was, the question become, was she? They were, the question will become, were they? Complete these questions using are or is. Number one, are. Are you coming to the party? Number two. Is Amit enjoying the book you gave him? Number three. Is Anu having a birthday party? Number four. Are you and Mohan going to the market? Number five. Is Monisha baking a cake? Number six. Are Mohan and Shikhar cycling to school? 
And the last one is change these statements into questions. The tailor was making my dress. Was the tailor making my dress? Rohit was cleaning his room. Was Rohit cleaning his room? Karan was writing a letter. Was Karan writing a letter? The puppies were playing in the basket. Were the puppies playing in the basket? The workers were building a house. Were the workers building a house? Mother was making lunch. Was mother making lunch? The boys were washing the car. Were the boys washing the car? The children were practicing for the play. Were the children practicing for the play? He was buying some vegetables. Was he buying some vegetables? The kittens were caching, chasing the birds. Were the kittens chasing the birds? So recap time. Sentences can be statements or questions. We both begin with capital letters. Statements end with a full stop and questions end with a question mark. So if you enjoyed my video, do like, comment and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.